Today you're gonna learn how to draw a grumpy monkey. You're gonna need some oil pastels and watercolor paint. If you do not have oil pastels, you can use a crayon. We're gonna start by finding sort of the top middle of the page, not exactly the middle, a little bit closer to the top. And we're gonna start by making the face by drawing a sideways three and then connecting the two ends with a wide U. I'm going back over these lines to just kind of darken it up. Now I'm gonna draw a circle around the face for the monkey's head. And then I'm gonna draw two big ears on either side. I'm gonna put a swirl on the inside of each ear. Next, I'm gonna draw the monkey's belly. And then some legs coming out of the belly. I'm gonna draw some little bean shapes for the feet. And then I'm gonna draw a branch for the monkey to be hanging from. And I really want this branch to kind of look realistic, so I'm gonna add in some details. I'm not gonna just make two straight lines across the paper. I want it to look like a real wooden branch. Now I'm drawing two lines up out of the head for either arm. Then I'm gonna make some fingers coming out of the top of that branch to make it look like the monkey is actually hanging on the branch. Now for the face, I'm gonna make my monkey look grumpy. And I'm gonna show you in a moment how to draw some other facial expressions if you wanna draw a different kind of monkey. So your monkey does not need to be grumpy. You can practice different facial expressions and see how that goes and pick one that you like. So here I'm drawing a happy monkey with a big old smile. This next monkey I'm gonna make look kind of annoyed. And make sure you include some eyebrows in your monkey's face because eyebrows really, really help show an expression. This next monkey, I'm just kinda, kinda play around with some different ideas and make a goofy, dorky looking monkey. You do not need to make the same faces as me. You can experiment and create your own facial expression. This next one is gonna look a little bit mean. And with that little smile on the side, I think this one looks sneaky. So now back to our grumpy monkey. I am going to take my black oil pastel, or you can use a crayon if you don't have oil pastel, and I'm just going to add little tiny straight lines for the fur. And if you want, you don't have to, but you can add a little belly and a belly button. I'm working on the legs right now, which you cannot see because I moved the paper, but I'm just adding little black lines on the legs for the fur. And I'm gonna go around the face. I'm not gonna put any fur on the actual face, just around the face. I'm gonna add fur up on the arms. And the reason we are adding this texture with oil pastel is because we're gonna paint over this with watercolor paint. And the oil pastel is going to resist the paint. It's gonna push it away. So those black lines will kind of pop through. I just went ahead and added some details on the branch. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a bunch of different kinds of leaves. I can use my dark green oil pastel I can use my light green oil pastel. I could use yellow if I wanted. You can experiment and have fun with the different colors that you use. However, you definitely wanna make it look like the monkey is hanging out in a rainforest. So there should be a lot of green plants. And when we paint the background, we're gonna be painting with some green watercolor paint. So it's gonna be extra green and look very foresty. 
Your leaves do not all need to look the same. You can do different kinds of leaves. You could make ferns. You could make whatever kinds of plants you want. You can even make up some plants because that's kind of what I'm doing. So we're going to look like this monkey is surrounded by leaves hanging in the trees. You can layer your leaves, overlap them, add multiple colors in them. So if you wanna use dark green and light green in some of your leaves, that would add some extra depth. I'm adding in some yellow for some fun. And I'm even gonna use a white oil pastel um, to put inside the leaves to show kind of like a shine on the leaves, make them look shiny. So when I paint my monkey, I'm gonna use brown watercolor paint. Always make sure that you have a wet paintbrush before you dip it in the watercolor paint so that that paint can move around freely on the page. Make sure you're painting inside the lines. That black oil pastel should really create a nice fat barrier there. So it should be pretty easy to paint inside those lines. The more paint you use, the darker the monkey will be. So if you want it to be a lighter monkey, use more water and less paint. If you want it to be a darker monkey, use a little bit more paint. So I just mixed up kind of a tan color by using brown and white. And I'm using that color for the belly and for the face. And for the ears, I'm gonna make the ears a little bit darker though. For the branch, I want the branch to look a little bit different from the color of the monkey. So I'm gonna just mix up some colors, maybe a little black, a little white, a little brown. You can even add a little green in there and see how this color stands apart from the color of the monkey. We don't want the branch and the monkey hands to look the same. Adding in some black watercolor paint to create a little bit more texture in the branch. And when this dries, it's gonna look a little bit different. You're gonna see a lot of texture in there. So now I'm gonna be using a white oil pastel just to kind of go in and add that shine on the leaves that I was talking about. And when I paint on top of the white oil pastel, it's gonna just look white because that white oil pastel is gonna push away the paint so it'll look like there's a little bit of a highlight on those leaves, which will make them look shiny. I'm also using the white oil pastel to kind of blend some of that green around. Just trying some things out. You can experiment with your oil pastels and try different things and see what you like. Now I'm gonna use different greens to paint the background. I'm just gonna paint right on top of the leaves. I'm gonna use light green, I'm gonna use dark green, I'm gonna let the colors blend together. I definitely want there to be some variety in the background so it doesn't all just look like one color. And you can see where I painted over the white oil pastel, that white is really popping through. You wanna make sure that you do not paint inside the monkey with your green paint. So be really careful, make sure that you're staying outside of those black lines so that the green does not blend in with the brown. You don't want the brown kind of leaking out into the background. This video is sped up, but you should be painting slowly and taking your time, making sure that you're always dipping your paintbrush back into the water before you dip it back in your color. We wanna make sure that that paint stays nice and wet in order for it to work properly. If you don't have enough water mixed with the watercolor paint, the color is gonna to look too dark 
and it's not going to move around the paper very freely. With enough water, you should be able to move that paint around and get it to go much longer of a way. Now once I finish getting paint everywhere, I'm gonna make a decision to go back in with maybe some other colors, maybe some darker colors. I might mix up some colors on the side to add some variety. Now this background, since it's all variations of green, what I would call this background is monochromatic. Mono means one, chroma means color. So a monochromatic background means that the background is all green. It's all one color, but it's different shades of green and different tints of green. By adding those different layers of colors, you end up with a much richer looking background. It looks like there's more plants. It looks less flat. I'm gonna make sure that there's no white spaces left behind. So right now I'm going in with some different greens and making sure that all those white spaces are filled in. I'm going back into the monkey with brown paint to make sure no white space is left there. Because that oil pastel on top of my paper left some white behind, I'm painting on top of that with some black watercolor paint. And I'm letting some of that black paint kind of bleed into the branch. Finally, I'm just taking some water on my paintbrush and placing droplets of water on top of the wet green paint just to add some more texture for fun. You could also try putting some salt on your wet watercolor paint to add some really cool texture. I hope you guys had fun creating your grumpy monkey and I can't wait to see what you all come up with. Thanks for watching.